Hey friends, Corey here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Lava Loon at Town Hall 11, specifically five entirely different attack strategies to take out these bases. Guys, Lava Loon's very strong right now, and with the addition of the new lightning spell, we have so many more attacks and options, more tools available to us to take out these bases. Guys, you can get really creative now. Check this out, man. This is going to be an Electron Lava Loon, also using two zap spells. He's using the heroes up there to take out an nice chunk of the base so we can direct target this multi-target inferno with the stone slammer queens picking off another air defense that would have taken out that stone slammer a lot sooner guys look at this what he wants is this stone slammer this e-dragon to go in here towards the defenses in the core he zaps that sweeper so that it's not able to give his stone slammer any problems the only problem i see right here guys is this trash building left right here these outer buildings that might draw that e-dragon out of the base he's got the rage down let's see what kind of damage he gets into the core of this base guys loons have already taken out all the eagle artillery all the core e-dragon oh it goes out to the side luckily there's no air defenses left so even though it's going to get distracted for a while it should continue getting some good value once he can redirect it into the base to take out this enemy queen friends going to be very important that you watch every single one of these five attacks in this video because they're all very different every one of them is going to give you different tips tricks and ideas that you you can use in your attack so he didn't get the queen with that electro dragon so he gets a free spell down on her look for that grand warden ability to be used try and get that queen killed by a loon drop or some minions helping out in there as well once again freezing that queen guys he's trying to save this attack right now because e dragon saw squirrels and he's out there sure enough man keeping that queen frozen he's gonna have enough lava pups in there they can eventually get the queen kill and guys look at this look at this there's just no base left no base left man he got the eagle in the core down with that opener guys this base does not stand a chance now that e-dragon oh he is pretty low on health at least i guess he got some value in there uh he's just gonna be relegated to cleanup duty guys let's check out this next example guys now talk about creative we've combined a queen charge lava loon with six zaps and a quake six zaps and a quake is enough to take out the clan castle on these bases also got another defense he did it so fast i didn't even see what defense it was but guys we are not not going to have to deal with a defensive clan castle at all on this base now. He's got one rage spell left for this queen charge. So you don't want to send her in there too deep to do anything too crazy. If you've only got one rage, a freeze, and an ability, she can't charge straight into the core of the base, man, and, and take out a ton of stuff. But, guys, if you keep her around the edges on some lighter defenses areas, maybe where they're spread out a little bit, you should have enough to get some nice value and get the rest of this circle cut out, man. He took out the core. If he can just take out these structures, he's going to have a whole chunk of this base cut out and then he's got some pretty nice loon pathing through the rest of the base oh man this is not what he wanted that right side funnel was not enough so he's gonna once again trying to save this attack with a stone slammer he's got to get this defensive rings cut out otherwise his loons do not stand a chance luckily queen already picked off the air defense in the area so stone slammer is gonna get some really good value in there taking out the rest and cutting out that chunk of the base that we need to establish good loon pathing through to the eagle artillery and through to the backside of the base let's see man we need this eagle artillery to go down before it starts making those loons disappear we got a nice group of loons in there onto that eagle artillery guys he's out of spells at this point plays the last haste trying to get this multi down good call right there an un an un uh unaccounted for multi-target inferno can really take out a lot of loons so if you can freeze it or use haste to get into your loons in there nice and quick look at this guys look at this the queen did not do what he wanted her to do but he's got way more than enough loons to finish off this attack grand warden ability is going to keep him invincible going into this last little section guys this one didn't even go to plan and it still got annihilated that should tell you how powerful lava loon is at town hall 11 right now all right, friends, once again, talk about creative. Look at this. We got eight lightnings and two quake spells. Look at this core of the base. Super dangerous for loons. We got two multi-target infernos in there. We got both sweepers in there. How is he going to deal with the core of this base, man? First of all, he's not trying to zap the CC. Important to note, he pulled the, the air CC that could even target air with a single loon. All that comes out is going to be a headhunter and an inferno dragon, and heroes are going to be able to deal with those just fine by popping their 
abilities, all right? And then he splits up those lightnings and quakes to zap the entire core. Guarantee he had to bust out the calculator, do a little bit of math to figure out how much damage those lightnings are going to do, along with the 25% damage from the quake spells, and got the entire core zapped on this base. Now, he wanted to break in to get the Eagle Artillery. Uh, his heroes had a little bit different idea, but Queen, once again, guys, the core is gone. We need to cut this defensive ring. We got a ring that goes all the way around the base. We got to cut out at least a couple of these defenses to secure some strong pathing for the loons around the remainder of the base. Queen's going to be able to pop her ability, get through the wall, and get that air defense taken out. Also going to take out the wizard tower, which really cuts a nice path for the loons. Now, if it's me, there's no air defenses over here, so I'm sending a stone slammer in nice and early to get that eagle artillery. Looks like he's going to hold on to that stone slammer for a little bit later in the attack. He does still have a queen left up. He's got to account for. So my guess is, since he didn't use that stone slammer on the eagle, he's saving the stone slammer for the backside. He's probably got a dragon in there to help kill that defensive queen. God, look at this nice, thin loon pathing. He's not even bothering to use any spells yet. He's just relying on the strong pathing. The hounds tanking for the loons. Those loons are doing really good. Look at how healthy those loons are right now, man. But that's just because of the amazing pathing that he set up for them. Look at this. Still got three hastes in his pocket. He's still got that Grand Warden ability. Look for that to be used if loons are starting to come into a lot of damage. He might possibly also use it to help in that queen kill as well. Finally getting those haste down. We got a Tesla farm that popped up on the backside, so good idea to use a haste to zoom the loons through that. Sure enough, man, look at that Grand Warden ability. Queen's locked onto the warden. We got dragons out of the siege barracks in there. Look for them to turn around and get that enemy queen dealt with, but guys, the loons have already bypassed the queen area with those haste and the Grand Warden ability. A lot of them made it past that area, no problem. Sure enough, dragon locks onto, kills that enemy queen. We're out of spells at this point, but he's got more than enough loons for the backside of this base, man. Super creative. Zap Lava Loon, man. Use that calculator to take out whatever you need to take out with those lightnings and quakes. All right, guys. Next, we're looking at some attacks from my buddies over in LP4 Hades. Check this out, man. This is an oldie, but still extremely powerful Queen Charge Lava Loon. Of course, it got even stronger with the advent and easier with the Super Wall Breaker Edition and the automatic hero abilities. Guys, these attacks are so much easier to pull off than they used to be just because it, you have such an easier time with the queen charge all right you have it you know super wall breakers make the wall breaks super easy anybody could do them and that automatic queen ability keeps you most of the time from missing your queen ability and missing out on some extra value in the core of a base so guys queen charge lava loon man this is an old attack strategy that is still very very strong in fact stronger than it used to be because of those changes that i just mentioned so guys you can not ignore this attack strategy all right value you're looking for normally with this attack is going to be enemy archer queen which is already down at this point usually you're going to want to deal with that clan castle with that queen charge and also try and charge that eagle artillery either that or some other good value like multi-target infernos maybe if you could charge a couple of those that's some big time value but keep an eye on that eagle artillery one thing you do not want to do on this attack is try to end your loons on it all right if you're not going to queen charge it at least make sure that you're going to get it at the beginning of the lava loons if you let that eagle artillery fire away on your loons through out the entire attack uh you're gonna fall short man so keep an eye on that eagle artillery if you can't charge for it start your loons on it here we go man look at him charging into this base queen charge is doing really healthy she's looking really strong right now and once she gets in here a little further she can actually reach this multi-target inferno as well if she steps up eventually your healers will be in trouble from this air defense but by that point she's gonna have more than enough value to get this base annihilated just another step up and she's gonna be drawn this season see man look at the value from this queen charge man amazing value from this queen charge on this side she's gonna be able to reach this air defense and this sweeper once she gets this clan castle dealt with man what a beautiful queen charge so much value he's starting off on this multi-target inferno tornado trap is gonna delay him a little bit if you have free spells left over for the backside multi-target infernos are a really good place to use those freezes all right 
TNZ here doesn't have any free spells, so he's making sure to get hasted through to those multi-target infernos and popping that Grand Warden ability near them as well. Queen is still going strong, guys. She's still got her ability. At this point, even if the loons die out right here and leave a couple defenses left, Queen's going to be able to pop her ability and get them taken out. Is he going to swag a rage on this? Oh my god, you guys. He's going to be swagging a rage spell. That's how overpowering this attack still is at Town Hall 11. All right, fam. We're going to take another look at Zap Lava Loon for this reason. I showed you the super creative one first that used eight lightnings and two quakes. All right. But this is going to be the more standard, the more common version that you're going to see. Seven lightnings and a quake spell. All right. Six lightnings and a quake will take out the clan castle at Town Hall 11. But with seven, you split them up a little bit and you're going to be able to take out several more defenses. Look at that, man. He broke those up once again using the calculator, using, using the knowledge that two lightnings and a quake is going to take out an air defense. Uh, two lightnings can take out a sweeper at Town Hall 11, or maybe it's two lightnings and a quake. Gosh, I don't even know, man. It's so hard to keep track of these different Town Hall levels, man, but use your calculator. Calculate that 25% damage from the quake spells, and then the damage from lightnings after that, and you split up those lightning spells to get max value. Take out, instead of just one little chunk, take out all the buildings around the clan castle if you can, just like Hades did on this one. And then, of course, look at this Sui value, man. Using those super wall breakers to get an access to a multi-target inferno an air defense and the defensive enemy queen is he gonna have enough health left he still hasn't popped that ability yet so i'm guessing if he pops this ability he should be able to get the queen kill with some distraction from those archers oh my gosh look at this queen look at this queen pops that ability down goes the enemy queen that was massive value from that suey guys and honestly your suey value can be just as important as as your zap value on these attacks at Sui Lalo with zaps at Town Hall 11, guys. So keep an eye. Work on that Sui value. It's just as important as getting good zap value. Or if you find yourself on a base where maybe you're not going to get as much zap value, but you can get massive Sui value out of your heroes, I would still consider using it, man. Because as long as between the two of those, you're getting good value, setting up good pathing, then you're still going to have success with Zap Lava Loon at Town Hall 11. Super powerful, guys. Look at all the loons left on this. Look at all the loons left on this attack dude he's got like i don't even know man 25 loons still up on this attack so if you didn't weren't convinced already i would hope by now that you are lava loon super powerful at town hall 11 guys and this video gave you a ton of different ideas to use in your attacks